What's happening, y'all? It's your homeboy J Dub and Mason. And we are the Final Call Movie Review Show. Tonight, we are doing Judgment Night from 1993, Stephen Hopkins film. We did Blown Away as well. That was one of the earlier reviews that we did a couple couple weeks ago. But this one stars Emilio Estevez, Cooper Gooden Jr., Stephen Dorff, and Jeremy Piven in a somewhat young role as four friends on their way to a boxing match in Chicago. They have procured a, an RV, really swanky RV for the weekend, so they're or for the night, whatever. They're 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 doing they're balling. They're balling. Get caught in a traffic jam on the way to the boxing match, so one of the guys says has a great idea, say, hey well we we can figure out our way. We're in an RV. What can happen to us? Let, let's Jeremy try. Piven, of course. Jeremy Piven did have the bright idea. Of let's saying, get off the road let, here, guys. Let's get off the interstate. Let's go through downtown Chicago and try to get this boxing match. Well, on the way there, they end up running across a gang member who happens to get caught by his uh, other gang members and murdered in front of them. And their rule is no witnesses. So, you can pretty much tell where it goes from there. Well, you can kind of tell where it goes from there. It's it's lit with suspense throughout. Because even though just from that point, you can kind of see, all right, it's going to form uh, or follow this kind of formula of a thriller. It, it involves, like, your street cred and getting enabled, getting able to get the trust of the people in those different neighborhoods behind you. So, there's a lot of grittiness and heart it, it, felt by this movie. It's definitely a street film. It's dark, it's 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 rough. There's a lot of uh bleakness, you know, very uh low income, unhappy people just trying to get by and uh it's uh there's a lot of there's a lot of rough characters that that are sparse throughout this whole movie it's it's just insane the stuff that goes on it's a fun action flick with like a ghetto bend that's just like dark and you never know who's gonna get killed it's one of these things where you're like there's no real expectation that everyone's gonna make it you're just like what the fuck man these guys are all fucking idiots and they're gonna this is this is just not gonna end well but it's got Dennis Leary playing like a solid dark character. It's got Everlast playing his like henchman. It's 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 a great cast. It's a it's a fun dark movie, but like it's definitely got some suspense to it. It's it's a solid film. It's very very solid film. It's what I would call a late night flick, like anything. 10, I'd say, well, 11 and later, if you happen to. That seems like something that you would catch on TV and might catch your eye about 5 or 10 minutes, yeah, maybe even 30 minutes into the movie. Yeah. It's going to hook it's you. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's an exciting movie. And it's going to make you want to see it on cable or wherever again it's so you can exciting. see what you missed. It's exciting and it's fast paced. Mm -hmm. Like it moves. It goes from place to place to place. There's a lot of like running and looking behind you. And it all happens in the same night before the sun even comes yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. The sun goes down, and and it's on and popping. Mm -hmm. The credits are going to roll before the sun ever comes back up, for all we know. Yeah. And yeah. things happen. And goes without saying, So the sun ain't going to... Some people ain't going to... Then it's going to be cold tonight, asshole. <laughs> so, on a scale from 1 to, ten, one, to 100... What do you give this film? As much as I want to give this film an awesome rating, just because I've grown up with it being a 90s classic, for what it is worth, and really looking back on the movie, saying, well, it's a good one, but it's not as great as when I first saw it when I was like 12 or 13. So, that being said, Retroactively, I will give Judgment Night a 76. Uh, 
I would have to give Judgment Night a... I gave it a 70. It's a solid flick. Solid flick. I definitely recommend watching it if you catch it on the late night or you, it comes across your path. It's 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 worth the view. My final call is See Judgment Night. Absolutely See Judgment Night. If you can find a DVD, they are very rare, but... I think I have one, but you can't borrow it. But... I got one. I, I could... You could borrow it. I ain't let nobody borrow my shit. <laughs> <laughs>